This Five on Your Side Sports Report is sponsored by Telly Tire and Auto Centers, driving your way since 1942. Mizzou fans came into this season dreaming about making the college football playoff. The Tigers still wanted to make that a reality. A win today on the road at number 15 Alabama seemed almost necessary at this point. Easier said than done. As expected, Brady Cook gave it a go, bad ankle and all in the intimidating venue of Saban Field at Bryant-Denny Stadium in Tuscaloosa. It wasn't the ankle for Cook today, but a hand injury that ended his day. Cook left in the first half for an x-ray and was ruled out the rest of the game. That meant it was Drew Pine time, and Pine's first throw of the game was picked off. Pine threw three interceptions in relief of Cook. Mizzou defense held on as long as they could. This touchdown by Jam Miller made it 13 to nothing Bam at the half. Crimson Tide kept on rolling after halftime. Jalen Milrow with some magic for another Tide touchdown. 20 to nothing at that point. Looked like Mizzou may crack the scoreboard late, but Bama snuffs that out on fourth down at the goal line to get the shutout. Alabama wins 34 to nothing and Missouri is left to pick up the pieces. There's a lot of pride and a lot of fight in that locker room and, and we're all disappointed with the result. We all came with a plan to win and it just didn't, it wasn't our day today. And, and um, we're not going to get divided. We're not going to point fingers. We're going to go back, uh, get healthy this week and, and finish out this stretch. Out on the West Coast, Illinois had the chance to make a statement as well. The number 20 fighting Illini got a chance to take on number one Oregon. And we saw exactly why the Ducks are ranked as the best team in college football. There is a wild Autzen Stadium, and of course, there's the duck on the motorcycle. It's not an Oregon game without the duck on a motorcycle. Fast start for the Ducks. Dylan Gabriel to Justice Low, 14-0 Oregon, 21-3 in the second. Here comes Noah Whittington down the lane, and you better just move out of the way. He trucks his way in for six more, 35-3 Ducks at the half. Illini did eventually get in the end zone. Khalil Valentine scores to give the Illinois fans who made the long trip to Eugene something to cheer about. Not a happy final score, though. Oregon wins 38 to 9. I think these guys enjoy playing together. It, it definitely hurt them today. You know, you can see it. Um, at halftime, I could feel it, and, and I liked the, the energy they gave coming out of the second half. And then, you know, obviously a lot of long faces in there tonight, as they should be. Jordan Cairo and the Blues continue their road trip in Montreal tonight against the Canadians. Already down 2 0, and here come the comeback Blues again. How about big Colton Pareko jamming away in the crease? 55 gets the Blues on the board. A few minutes later in the second, Jake Neighbors is red hot after that contract extension. He gets his fourth goal of the year. We're tied at two. Canadians jump back ahead, though. Alex Newhook scores on the power play. And the Habs would add a few more in the third. Montreal wins tonight, 5-2. We weren't willing to work early, and we weren't willing to be physical. And when you're doing that, then you're usually chasing the game, and it's hard to get yourself into it. Obviously, that's on us as players to come out ready to go from puck shop. you got to be ready at the start of the game. And, um, you know, that gives you a better opportunity to, you know, maybe grab a lead or, or you know, keep it a tie game for a longer amount of time. Player of the day came from St. Charles. Lindawood trying to put the finishing touches on a win over Western Illinois. And Steve Hall put the team on his back. This is a 93-yard touchdown run to cap off a 49-38 victory for the Lions. The MICDS grad had 259 yards on the ground and four touchdowns today for Lindawood. It's a good day at the office for him. Not so great a day for Mizzou and Illinois, though. I know. A lot of us are talking about the Mizzou game. I'm telling you, we were pulling for the Tigers. Though. They got a bye week next week. Hopefully they can figure some things out.